All right, so in today's video, I'll be showing the best way to beat your vault boss. It doesn't matter what shrift you have. I'm going to be giving you guys the best tips I can give you. It took me about two hours to beat mine, but I think I got the hang of it, and I think I got the tips down. I'm going to give you guys the knowledge I have right now to beat your vault boss. Also, there's two new codes on the screen. If you're watching this video with a couple days in advance, the codes not, might not work anymore. They just released. Now, for the first stage of the vault boss, all you need to do is perfect blocked and hit criticals on the boss to get past it. Uh, it does get a little bit harder towards the end because you start sending waves of them. You can perfect block those as well. So don't be scared to try to perfect block those as well. Um, if you have evasives, don't be afraid to use them if you have to. But I would just sit there and stand still and try to treat it like trial one from deep poking. That's pretty much the best tips I can give you for the first stage. That one's kind of more skill based. I really can't do anything other than tell you what to do in the first stage. Now for the main part of this video is the fight with your vault boss. It might be difficult depending on what shrift you have. So the best tips that I can give you is number one. If you have a shrift weapon or a shrift special weapon from a strange ore, I would really go and consider turning that off because uh, it is annoying uh, to not have a ranged move against your boss and being able to spam r with the bow does help a lot if you're using a bow so it does help a lot with using your critical me personally i had the bow on i could you can just go switch it back on and off i'll show you the, the npc that you could do it on and if you don't have a short weapon don't worry about that i just wanted to make sure that people had it clear now when you fight your boss it uses the same moves that you have in your hot bar but if you take off your shrift moves, it still uses them. So keep all your shrift moves on because that doesn't matter in the first place. After you get past the first stage of the boss and you're actually fighting your actual boss itself, I would really suggest taking off any moves other than your shrift moves in general and one evasive. So just keep that in mind. I would take off the Ishida move and I would take off the Yuha move in general because it will use it against you and it's very annoying. Now for the second part of this little tip and guide, I will actually try to help you along while you're fighting it so when it full, fully spawns in you could flash up towards it before it even starts attacking and try to put it in a combo i would really suggest trying to do that in the first place and then after you get it i would just really try to sit back and range if you don't have a kit that can help at range or even do anything at range i would suggest trying to get in at certain time and then backing away play range with it and play cooldowns with it that's what I would suggest, or even try to bait out the moves. You can try flash stepping past your boss and it will sometimes proc a move. That's what I would try to do. Try to time your flash steps into walking past and it'll use a move randomly and it'll really help to have your boss have its moves on cooldown as much as possible another thing i would try to suggest is make sure when you do time your flash ups that you're timing them right after your boss uses its flash ups because it really does suck when you try to play range on it and it keeps catching up that's because you're timing your flash ups in the wrong spots and you need to make sure that you're trying to get and keep distance with it as it comes into closing the distance now that's being the evasive route you can also try the pbing route and just really Really try to hone in on pbing stuff but i really wouldn't suggest that it's kind of harder to do it that way but if you're really good at pbing you could try it this way as well now with that being said that's really all the tips i can give you i'm going to show you guys beating my boss and you guys can look for yourself and see how i did it and try to emulate that for yourselves i did do it on oasis which is in my opinion was the one of the hardest ones to do it on so hopefully you guys enjoy the video leave a like if you guys do enjoy and without further ado let's get into the video That's the last thing I need right now. Come on. Come on. Bro, I need to stop upgrade cutting, bro. Bro, just thigh stepped it. That's crazy. Okay, well that's annoying. We actually popped the evasive, that's actually crazy. I can't even lie to you chat. Oh, I perfect dodged that. I did not perfect dodge that. What? 
What? Wait, mine are just dumb? Why are mine dumb? Mine ain't the stupid juice, bro. Oh my god, and it blocked it. Yeah, I might have to ban my clones. Oh, oh. I just have to get by that. Okay, there we go. Yeah. Alright, so. Q dash, no evasive. There we go. Now we can go to work. About to end soon. There it goes. Let's go! Let's go, chat! W spam! Oh my god! <sighs> I bear no doubt. What if I said nah? And take this energy woven from my spirit. Oh my god! Let's go! I got it, bro! It is so, it is so real, chat. It is so real. Let's pop the move, chat. Let's pop it out of the town, obviously, before I lose my mode. Oh my god, it's real. It's so real, bro. This, this move is... Wings look terrible, bro. I do not care if my wings look terrible right now. I will reroll them later. I will reroll them later, like right now. Now, if you have any questions or need any help with the game, just make sure you guys go to my live streams or go watch my guys. They're on my channel. Hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. It took uh, two hours to finally get it, over two hours to finally get it. It was worth the struggle, but uh, the boss was fun to fight at least, you know, other than some games. But yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed the guide. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the tips. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the content and been enjoying the Proxide content. Make sure you guys subscribe. I'm going to be uploading a lot more Proxide content in the coming days. But yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed the rest of your day. I'll see you guys later and peace out.